I'm not sure there's an issue that makes me more angry uh, than when you had the news media and the right-wing folks uh, somehow changing the subject. If you are supportive of Black Lives Matter, it doesn't mean that you don't believe that other lives matter less or more. And it is ridiculous for how that has been spun. And w why I am so passionate is, and let me just tell you a little bit about what happened to me on election morning. Well, we were all grieving, and I, I was shocked that America elected Donald Trump. I could not believe, I got home around 4 o'clock in the morning. But at 6 o'clock in the morning, I was woken up. I saw that it was my niece, Tanisha. And what had not even processed in my mind when I was so upset about what the results were was how she was going to, as a young African-American 20-year-old, how she processed what happened the night before. And she was sobbing so hard that I couldn't understand at first what she was saying. And I kept saying, what's wrong? What's wrong? And she goes, Uncle Raymond, you have to get me out of here. She feared for her safety by what happened on Election Day. Now, until all of America understands the fear that is out there, the justified fear, because of what we are seeing happen across the country to African-American lives, we're never going to be able to move this country forward. It is important. I never again want to ever get a call from Tanisha like that. It, it was a soul-crushing experience for me. Because when Tanisha was saying, get me out of this country because my life is in danger, because she had that overwhelming fear, that is something that it's, it is not just certain cities. It's not just certain parts of the country. That fear is all across the country. It's even in rural New Hampshire. So when people say Black Lives Matter, you're damn right they matter.